We're standing before the remains of the Temple of Athena who brings victory, a temple to Athena on the Acropolis of Pergamum. Pergamum was a smallish Greek city in the Archaic and Classical periods, but it came into its heyday during the Hellenistic period, when a local family established itself as an independent dynasty and made Pergamum the center of a new kingdom. The Pergamene kings had as an ambition to make their city the greatest cultural and artistic center of the empire, and they had great rivals, Athens from the earlier period and Hellenistic Alexandria. But as they became more and more powerful in western Turkey, they began to make their dream a reality. You see below the Temple to Athena here, a wonderful theater. The Temple of Athena was later enclosed in a colonnade, and a library was built here to rival the great library in Alexandria. The Ptolemaic kings of Alexandria weren't happy about that, so they put an embargo on papyrus, the writing material that everyone used. So the Pergamon kings had their people develop parchment, writing material made out of skins, and there was a great library here that rivaled that of Alexandria. Below us here is, are the foundations of the great altar to Zeus. This was built to commemorate an Attalid victory, the family was named the Attalid family, over the Gauls who had invaded Asia Minor. Unfortunately, there's nothing there now because the altar has been reconstructed in Berlin. But on this wonderful structure, they commemorated a scene of the Gigantomachy, the battles of the gods fighting the giants, and this probably was symbolic of the Pergamenes and the Greeks defeating the Gallic invaders. Higher up on the Acropolis are the remains of an imperial, a Roman imperial temple, begun under the reign of Trajan, who ruled from 98 to 117 AD and completed under the reign of his adopted son Hadrian. And you can see how stunning that white marble would have been on the top advertising Roman power. Now, the Pergamenes and many of the Greeks in Asia Minor were very willing to participate in what was called imperial cult, the honoring of the Roman emperors with divine honors. And it was either, this was done after the book of Revelation, but there was already some worship of Roman, Roman emperors, perhaps on that site earlier in the first century AD. There was a statue of Augustus here in the forecourt of Athena sanctuary, and then of course there was the altar of Zeus. One of these sites either this great altar to Zeus that was famous throughout the world or one of these imperial cult centers may have been the source of the reference in Revelation when the Lord says that he is pleased and displeased with the church at Pergamum. Uh, he knows where they dwell at the seat of Satan. It could have been that great altar of Zeus, which was an open air altar, which actually kind of looks like a seat, or perhaps it was the beginning of the imperial cult. Pergamum, great site.